Hey, Kentucky, this is Matt Jones. The Cats dealt the Aggies a huge loss last night in Rupp. Ashley Judd does not appreciate Chick-fil-A making people boo the players, and Lexington's newest high school has dropped the stallion mascot. We'll talk about all that and much more next on Hey, Kentucky. Welcome, everybody. A lot to get to today on Hey, Kentucky. Chip Cosby's here on a big news day. Are you ready to roll? I'm ready to roll. There's a lot to go, so let's get started. Now, Texas A&M brought a stable of big men to Rupp last night, but it really didn't matter as the Cats ran away with a huge win. Kentucky started the game on a 15-3 run, and it was never close. Kentucky won 100-58, and a lot of players played well. Malik Monk was on fire, 5-7 five for seven from three-point land. He had 26 points. But more impressive to me was the defense. The Cats forced a ton of turnovers, and John Calipari chalked up the big win to discipline. Take a listen. And I told him again, discipline that I'm talking about is not tucking your shirt in, pulling your socks up, combing your hair. That's not, we're talking about, this is how we're playing as a team. This is your job. Do your job so we can trust you. I feel like, Chip, they could trust all the players last night. That was, if you consider offense and defense, to me, the best performance of the year. Yeah, and that's going to be the key to this team moving forward to me, if they can be a national championship team or not, is on the defensive end because I thought they got exposed against UCLA. They got exposed against Louisville. And they really, and let's be honest, the SEC, they've got three more. The SEC's horrible this year. I mean. I, I thought that team last night was going to be better. They, I mean, I, they, they, they weren't good. Yeah. But I thought, you know, last year they tied for with Kentucky for the league win. Now they've lost a lot of players. Yeah, so, so, you know, they've got three tests left. Kansas, and then they got Florida twice. I want to see them go up against Kansas. Is, is that game at Rupp? Is it Rupp? Yeah, it's at Rupp. Kansas sitting very big, so and they've got good guards, but Kentucky's guards are better. They should win that game at home. I think they're going to – I mean, I think they'll drop one or two just because you drop one or two, but I agree with you. I think they'll probably lose at Florida, and then they'll drop one random one. That yeah, tends right. to happen. And just then I think they'll up. go into the tournament. With that, they can be a one seed. But what was most impressive to me last night is that defense, like you said. UCLA and North Carolina and even Louisville were getting whatever shot they wanted, right. not this time. Yeah, and I, but again, I, I was Texas A&M. A &A -A -A I want to see them. If they can bring that kind of defensive effort against Kansas and get a win, then I'll consider them a title threat. I think what we saw is if you don't have good guards, you can forget it. Uh, I mean, so, you, you can forget it right. against Kentucky. Now, it's weird after a game like that, the biggest story may have been about Chick-fil-A and Ashley Judd, but that's exactly what happened last night. Now, Chick-fil-A offers free chicken biscuits to fans if a player on the other team misses two free throws in the second half. And it really gets fans interested. They cheer and yell. And Ashley Judd took notice last night, and she tweeted that encouraging fans to cheer against kids is, quote, tacky, and she hopes they would knock it off. Now, during these games, the fans get really into the possibility of a free chicken biscuit, but now Ashley Judd's statement has made a lot of fans mad. She went back and forth with fans on Twitter all night yesterday. Chip, what do you make of the controversy? It's all anybody wanted to talk about on my show today. Yeah, you know, I think this is a case of, you know, Ashley Judd is known as, as a, the suit number one super fan. I think this is a case of maybe her not understanding her fan base. Every UK, if you told every UK basketball fan we could win every game 200 to nothing, they would take it. I mean, they're not going to, they're not going to, you know, get up in arms over a kid missing a free throw, and they want that chicken biscuit. I, I don't think this is a battle worth fighting. You know? I, see, I'm kind of with you. I, I disagree with her. I think it's a cool promotion. It makes it to where they were looking for a way to get fans into the free throws in the second half, and that's a good way. I understand what she's saying, but I kind of agree with you that she sort of misses the fan base a little bit. People... The thing about Ashley Judd is she creates strong opinions. Right. I think part of it is her politics, because she's sort of an outspoken liberal. And then part of it is there are some fans who think, why is she always on TV? Don't you think that's part of it? Yeah, and you know, and politically, I mean, that, if you want to go at Chick-fil-A, there are plenty of things. I mean, there are some and other some people things. think she only did that because of the Chick-fil-A well, well, then, well, then just come out with that. That To me, that's silly. I just don't, th again, I don't think, you know, if you're going to take on Chick-fil-A, I don't think that's a battle worth it. Yeah. Getting into I it. like Ashley Judd. We've actually, I've actually become friends with her. I, I do she, too. I think, I think she's, she's a, great, a really think she's nice great. person. I think sometimes though, she gets a little worked up and I, I kind of agree with you. I was like, Ashley, just drop it. Yeah. You know, it's just a little thing. But I'll say this about her. She stands up she's for whatever. Tough, she's, she's tough, man. She's not going to back down. No, she's no. not. Now today is a huge day for Hamadou Diallo. 
a five-star shooting guard who could join the Cats in the next few weeks. As a matter of fact, this could happen between when we tape this and the show. We don't know. Diallo is in a unique situation. He could join any team for the second half of this year, and then he could either go pro or stay for another season. Now, Diallo had great things to say about his official visit to UK, and we find out sometime today if he's going to visit Arizona. Chip, if he doesn't visit Arizona, I think he's going to end up at Kentucky. This is a five-star kid. This is a top-ten player who could join the team right now as a guard. What do you think? Well, I think, if, um, to me, unless you've got a guarantee that he's going to be there next year, I don't know if you do it. I, I agree. Because, you know, he, he doesn't fill a need. Now, if he was a 6'10", 6'11", shot blocker and yes. rebounder, bring him in. But you're going to bring in another guard. He's probably not going to get the minutes that he wants. You have to wonder how it's going to affect team chemistry. Un unless I know it's a two-year guarantee, I stay away from See, him. See, here's what I think is going to happen. I think they're going to end up taking him. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes and doesn't play at all. If he just comes and practices with the team and then plays next year. I think that's the most, because the one thing you don't want to have happen is what you're talking about. He comes and sort of ruins stuff. I don't think they're going to let that happen. I think if he comes to Kentucky, Cal's coming for next year and saying, come work out with us for a semester. Well, that, that's the case. He's too talented a kid to pass up if, that, if you get him next year. But this year's team, I don't think he brings much to the table. And they need a shooting guard for next year. That's right. another thing. They don't have one committed. Another reason why I think Cal would take him even in this scenario. Now, let's switch gears. It was a big day in Kentucky politics, like a big day. The Capitol building was buzzing with people for and against a number of key bills in Frankfurt. Governor Matt Bevin was greeted with boos and chants from union members as he headed in to testify in favor of right to work. The Herald Leader recorded his conversation with the group. Take a listen. The greatness of America is people who are willing to get out of work every day, bust their tail, not only for themselves, but for their families, their communities, and the common good. And you're doing that, I'm doing it to the best of my ability, and so are other people. You should work with us. It's about the American dream, right? I'll give Bevan credit. He did debate the people, but it got a lot worse. Some of it we can't even put on here, the yelling back and forth. Now, the right to work bill passed the committee. It will be up for vote soon, but it is highly controversial because basically, Chip, what right to work means is union members don't have to pay dues, which essentially ends unions in a state, and a lot of union members are really upset. What do you think? Uh, and it can't happen. You know, I work. I think it's going to happen. You though. think you really? Th oh, it's going to pass. Listen, Matt Bevin could have produced any bill as House Bill One. He picked this. Because this is his biggest thing in his agenda. I think it's passing, Chip. I think he's going to turn a lot of people that might have been for him against him. Because, I, you know, I worked part-time at Ford. I know how vital the union is to that company. And, and you know, you, you know, workplaces need unions to look after them. I mean, I, I just think... Well, there were union members all over the halls. My thing is just this. Everywhere you pass right to work, wages go down in the state. Not just union members, but non-union members. It always goes down. That's just what happens. I think people are going to regret if this passes, and I think it will. Now, meanwhile, lawmakers decided to pull House Bill 10, which would back the governor's changes to the U of L board. After reportedly having an all-night discussion with U of L about their accreditation, lawmakers say it isn't ready. Officials tell the Herald Leader they want the bill to be perfect and it needs more time. This was a bill chip that would have essentially allowed Bevin to get rid of the U of L board and put in his own people. The national accreditation folks told U of L or told the, the legislature, if you do that, U of L may lose their accreditation. And now the legislature, the legislature has come back and said, maybe we shouldn't do it. Yeah, it's gonna die. I just don't see how you can do that. I mean, you know, you're pulling unions, and you're gonna be the guy that you know loses U of L's accreditation. I mean, Bevin, I think Bevin realized. I think they put the brakes on it. They're going to take some time off, and then they're going to come back. And, and This and, is a losing battle for him. Like, right. this is one he needs, because ultimately, this isn't a judge telling you you can't do it. This is the national accreditation. And right. if, if, if you're the governor or the legislature that causes U of L's accreditation to go, that's going to stick with you. I think everything else he's done in terms of boards will get upheld, but that's one he just can't lose. You do not want to be the guy that makes it to where U of L drops in the rankings. No, they they back and they put on the brakes. They're going to give it a little time, and I think they'll kill it. It is interesting though. Frankfurt was riled up today. I mean, Frankfurt is normally kind of a sleepy place. The combination of the union. There was an abortion bill that came up today. If you are in Frankfurt tomorrow, when a lot of this stuff comes on the floor. I want to have a video camera. That's they need to have streaming some, video there tomorrow. It's going to be insane. Tomorrow, Those union yeah. folks are not happy. Now, 
All you folks who went and ordered your Frederick Douglass Stallion swag, you may need to get some refunds because the school pulled the mascot due to public reaction. It all started this week when the school unveiled the school colors, the football coach, and the nickname, the Stallions. Now, I think the uniforms look awesome, but the term means a virile male horse, which people thought was an odd name to use for the girls' teams at the schools. The school leaders heard all the, t the talk, they decided to scrap it, and they decided that the students next year will decide on a new horse-themed mascot. Chip, what do you make of it? I don't think it was malicious. I just don't think it was very well thought out. And, and again, a battle not worth fighting. Uh, you know, change it to, to the thoroughbreds. What's the difference? I mean, same deal. I agree with you, though. The uniforms and the colors uniforms look great. are great. They look great. Whoever came up with those uniforms, I like. I agree with you in the sense that I think they did this with the best of intentions. Yeah, I don't think they I don't think anybody did. meant anything by it. Now, a lot of people are outraged that they're changing it, saying they're giving in to complaints. Do you? What do you think of that? I, I just think, I, I get it though. I understand how some females would not, would, would be offended by that nickname. And, and like, again, that's not a battle word. Just change it to the thoroughbreds. It's not What that if they had done my idea, which is to have the stallions for the male team and fillies for the female? Now, now that's good. Now, that works. Now that works. But now I there's mean, some people who say, well, that would cost a lot of money to have two different sets that's of like things. That's like Butler High School in Louisville. You got the Bears and the Bearettes. You know, oh, do they really? They, yeah, they're the bear. I okay, think see, that's the, what I might. They're, they're, they're the bear. You could have, you could have done that. I just don't know if you need female teams having, uh, you know, male horse. It's like it's, it's just a little. The connotation is maybe a little too sort of sexual. Yeah, for yeah. Just got to stay away from that. But anyway.